and welcome to X-Ray Review. Uh, this is going to be a quick video about torus or buckling fractures, which typically occur in kids, usually a result of a fall on an outstretched hand, like a foosh injury. Most common location is going to be the distal radius, and we'll look at a bunch of examples. All right, so this is a classic example of a torus fracture. These are incomplete fractures, usually of the shaft of a long bone. And what you'll see is a bulging out of the cortex. Unlike a normal fracture with a radiolucent line with a clear break through both cortices, with an incomplete a torus fracture, you'll just see a small bulging of that cortex. And the torus fracture I was describing at the distal radius is this small bulge in the cortex right here. This is a young child with a fall on an outstretched hand injury. And if you take a close look at the distal radius, we can visualize an incomplete fracture, buckling fracture, as well as adjacent soft tissue swelling. This patient has fractures of both the distal radius and the distal ulna. And small incomplete torus fractures can be visualized on both the frontal and lateral views with adjacent soft tissue swelling. Typically these types of fractures do not require surgery. Uh, simple casting and mobilization can, can be beneficial, but of course a pediatric orthopedist uh, would be the best referral for this. So remember the diagnosis of a torus or buckling fracture is gonna be in a kid usually between the ages of 5 and 10. Torus and buckling fractures don't really occur in an adult, maybe in the rib cage, but that's about it. In a child, the distal radial metaphysis is going to be the most common location in the upper extremity and in the lower extremity, the distal tibia. Uh, and here's a good example again of a torus or buckling fracture. Another patient with a Fouche injury, not a great quality image, but if we zoom in, you'll notice a torus or buckling fracture at the distal radial metaphysis. This is a 10 year old male who fell off a skateboard and you'll notice at the lateral aspect of the distal radial metaphysis, A torus or buckling fracture. Very easy to overlook and if you don't specifically look for this it's very easy to miss. This poor kid fell from a tree and an inexperienced x-ray tech attempted a bilateral view and if we zoom in you'll notice bilateral torus buckling fractures of the radial metaphyses. All right, let's try a couple questions. What is the most common age range for a torus fracture? And that would be five to 10 years old. Remember, these are only seen in scuttly immature patients. Which term best describes a torus fracture? And that would be an incomplete fracture. Remember, these are buckling uh, or incomplete fractures where you have these axial compressive forces where it collapses in on itself. There's no true complete fracture. All right, I hope you enjoyed this quick video on torus fractures. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and any comments, please put them below. Thanks again.